Now at five, the body of the late Congressman John Lewis has arrived to the U.S. Capitol where it now lies in state. The civil rights icon died earlier this month from pancreatic cancer. He was 80 years old. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill with how Lewis is being remembered. Members of the U.S. military carried the flag-draped coffin of the late Congressman John Lewis from plane to hearse before he began his final journey through Washington. The motorcade carrying his body passed the Lincoln Memorial, where Lewis was the youngest speaker at the 1963 March on Washington. Amazing Grace played as a crowd gathered around the hearse on Black Lives Matter Plaza. The mayor of D.C., Muriel Bowser, was also there to greet the Lewis family, near where the congressman himself stood just one month before his death. Then he made his ascent to the Capitol. John Lewis will lie in state at the Capitol today and tomorrow. He served here for more than three decades, and colleagues called him the conscience of the Congress. It is an official, personal, and very sad honor to welcome our colleague, John Lewis, back to the Capitol to welcome his family and his many friends to acknowledge his sacred life. History only bent toward what's right because people like John paid the price to help bend it. Be courageous. A recording of one of Stand Lewis's up. speeches received a standing ovation during the welcome ceremony. <laughs> Thursday, his body will be flown to Atlanta for a funeral service at the historical Ebenezer Baptist Church. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. President Trump says he will not be going to the Capitol to pay his respects to John Lewis. In a tweet posted soon after the congressman's death, the president called him a civil rights hero.